In this video, we will demonstrate fiber optic insertion loss testing using the ClearLine SSF TKITE-100 testing kit on single-mode fiber terminated with SC connectors. Required materials are SSF-TKITE-100 kit with included single-mode light source and power meter, SC to SC single mode feed through adapter, and one simplex SC to SC single mode reference cable for single cable reference testing. Cable under test, one click type cleaner for SC connectors being the 2.5mm part SSF 1CLK SC. Using the light source and power meter. For full information on light source and power meter functions, refer to the included instruction manual. The light sources and power meter can be identified by labels on the front of each unit. This kit includes two light sources, one for use with single mode, marked SM, and one for use with multi-mode, marked MM. When testing, ensure that the light source used matches the cable under test. The keys and indicators included on all units are the following. Power button. This also controls the auto shutdown function. Wavelength. This key activates the laser and controls wavelength in nanometers. Keys specific to the light sources are frequency modulation, controls laser frequency. Keys specific to the power meter are reference, sets the current power value in decibel milliwatts dBm as the reference value. Measurement setting, sets measurement to decibel milliwatts or to nanowatts. Screen data, items indicated on all screens are wavelength. Battery level. Auto shutdown status. This appears when auto shutdown is enabled. Modulated frequency, laser setting. Dashed lines indicate the laser is in continuous wave mode. Items indicated on the light source screen are as follows. Output power. Items indicated on the power meter screen are power value. Reference power value will appear in the upper right hand corner once set. Light source outputs. The light source for single mode testing marked SM operates at 1310 or 1550 nanometers. The light source for multi mode testing marked MM operates at 850 or 1300 nanometers. Note that the laser does not operate at visible wavelengths. Light will not be visible when the laser is active. To avoid the risk of eye damage, do not look into the laser at any time. Testing. Turn on optical light source marked SM for single mode and optical power meter marked OPM. Quick press power button again on each unit to disable auto off feature. On both power meter and light source, for single mode testing set wavelength to 1310 nanometers. On light source, set laser to continuous wave mode dashed lines. Remove dust caps from power meter and light source. Remove single mode SC reference cable from bag. Remove dust cap. Clean end using one click type cleaner. Plug into light source. Clean other connector end and plug into power meter. Press and hold the reference button until the power meter screen reads zero decibels. This sets the reference value for the test. Unplug reference cable from power meter side only. Clean connector and attach SC to SC female adapter.
clean end of cable under test. Plug into adapter attached to reference cable. Clean free end of cable under test. Plug cable under test into power meter. The new decibel value visible on the power meter screen is the test result. Loss budget calculation. Clearline advocates following established guidelines for insertion loss testing, such as those established by the Fiber Optic Association, and references these FOA standards in both equipment instructions and this video. Loss budget is the calculation of estimated loss of all connectors and cable in a link. Loss budgets can be calculated during design. In testing after installation, the actual loss is compared to the budget to ensure proper installation to industry standard. Each connector under test is allowed up to 0.75 decibels per the EIA-TIA 568 standard. Single mode fiber loss is calculated at an average loss of 1 decibel per kilometer for 1310 nanometer sources, or roughly 0.1 decibels per 600 feet. For multimode fiber, the loss is about 3 decibels per kilometer for 850 nanometer sources, or 0.1 decibels per 100 feet. In this video, the cable under test is quite short, so the cable loss calculation is less than 0.1 decibels. The loss calculation for the connectors is 1.5 decibels, or 0.75 decibels per connector, times 2 connectors. The test result is less than 1.6 decibels, so the cable passes industry standards for link loss. Refer to the included Fiber Optic Association guidelines for further information, or visit the FOA on the web for further information on fiber testing or installation.